On Friday night, just before 12 a.m., multiple gunshots were fired inside a property on Antelope Street extension. 44-year-old Dwayne White, known to residents in the neighborhood as Donny, was mortally wounded in the armed attack. He was rushed to the KTMH for emergency medical attention, but perished while undergoing treatment. Communications Director ASP Fitzroy Yearwood of the Belize Police Department. Sometime around 11.30, the police visited the KHMH where they saw the lifeless body of Mr. White uh, with several apparent gunshot wounds. Initial investigation revealed that White was sitting inside his yard uh, with friends and family when a man entered his yard and fired several shots in his direction. He was immediately transported to the KHMH where he succumbed to his injuries. The person that entered that yard um, exited and went through an alley next to a popular Chinese shop on that street. The incident, according to police, may have been motivated by a turf war over the sale of cannabis in that area. We haven't established a true motive, but um, we are examining several. From what we are picking up in the neighborhood, it would want to sound like a turf war. But um, like I said, we can't go by just hearsay. So um, we are trying to establish motive. We have to be real. We are in Belize City. That area is known for the sales of several um, illegal narcotics. Um, so it would want to be, it would want to appear that this is a, as a result of the sale of illegal narcotics. We have our operational teams out there trying to do their best in bringing and arresting this murder and at the same time trying to apprehend these, um, how to say, legal vendors. The effort to make an arrest and bring the perpetrator of this crime to justice, however, is being frustrated by the deafening silence of eyewitnesses who saw the incident as it unfolded. So far, we have detained several persons, but um, we are still investigating because it's an how to say, challenge when it comes to getting information in that area. I know that for the past week or so, you have seen where we have made several um, busts and some from property large quantities countrywide, and we will not stop this operation. We are trying our best to clean the streets of these um, illegal narcotics and our operations team will be pushing out there. The so-called turf war in that area of Belize City speaks to the perennial issue that the Ministry of Home Affairs is faced with, rival gangs going at each other for the sake of controlling the sale of cannabis in certain communities. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Cayetano.